Hello YouTube, I went back to this uh, giant PMH and I made uh, some modifications. As you can see it's really moving right now. So uh, what I have over here is a magnetic oscillating switch. So I 3D printed um, the switch and I put uh, ring magnets inside both sides. And then I have um, two little pipes in there. Um, they're made out of bronze. and. Um, so the other the other side of this uh, switch has um, copper foil, and um, when the ma mag magnets pass over over it, the um, switch ends up vibrating, and that's what makes and breaks the connection. And then across the switch, I have this uh, very large capacitor, this um, Leyden jar, and um, as you can see, it's really moving right now. And uh, I'm going to provide a schematic for this later. So then I have an an another uh, winding on top of um, my primaries. So I have two coils shorted out and then another windings. Um, I believe it's um, 14 gauge. Um, how, how, many, how, many, how many windings exactly? Um, I'll, again, I'll, I'll provide the information later. Uh, I'm not sure if this if this uh, second winding is is doing anything, but it's also shorted out um, with itself. And then I have another Leyden jar across the input, and then I have two uh, transformers connected in series going towards that thing. Uh, so um, as you can see, it's it's moving rather rather quickly. And um, I, there's no transistor here. It's just this little uh, oscillating switch right, right here. So um, I, I think it relates to a Tesla's magnifying transformer, and uh, I'm going to provide a schematic for that as well. Anyway, this is where I am right now in, in my research. As you can see, it's it's really moving rather quickly. Or torquoise. See, it has a very nice torque. See, I'm having a hard time slowing it down. The the input voltage is um, uh, 5.9 volts at 400 milliamps. My standard Nokia phone charger. Torque is very nice, you guys. For for uh, how much voltage is is in there. Anyway. I'm gonna continue investigating. Okay, my pulse motor is still running, and I'm going to show you guys the schematics for it. So um, we basically have, um, you know, um, the PMH, two microwave transformers hooked up in series, going to one side of the short uh, PMH, and then um, between. Uh, no, then you, then the other side goes into an oscillating switch and across the switch terminals you have a laden jar and um, I'm gonna show you guys the schematic again if you want to see it and now I'm going to show you guys Tesla's magnifying transformer so this is Tesla's transformer this transformer would st uh, will step up both um, voltage and amperage at the same time. So you have, a, you have a DC power source going through your primary and the secondary uh, is uh, pro thicker gauge wire, more winds. And um, you have an oscillating switch right here. And across the switch terminals you have a very large capacitor. So uh, I believe Tesla was using uh, laden jars um, hooked up in parallel. And um, and that's it basically, the, the switch oscillates and uh, electricity ends up being trapped in the Leyden jar and then the circuit bound, the electricity ends up bouncing back so you get an oscillation going and um, that's basically it you guys and I'm going to um, show, I grew some crystals I'll show you what those look like it's, uh, it's unrelated to this but it's just neat as all uh, sometimes I, cross, uh, I come across something really bizarre and I want to make a video about it. 
So this is one of those instances. So um, I, I, I grew some copper crystals. So here um, I had copper and, um, and vinegar. And eventually vinegar dried and I ended up with these um, little crystals as you can see. They have geometric shapes. Small crystals at the bottom. And um, and here I had copper tubes and um, some baking soda. And baking soda dried out and again I got crystals. But these crystals are different. They resemble spider webs. That's rather curious. And of course I'm working on other projects. This is just um, a curiosity that I came across.